Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic the PERT methodology. Today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam or PMP in near future. So let's start friend. First of all I have request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you. Friend, a program evolution review technique PERT chart is a graphical representation of a project timeline that displays all of the individual tasks necessary to complete the project. As a project management tool, the PERT chart is often preferred to the Gantt chart because it identifies task dependencies. However, a PERT chart can be more difficult to interpret. A project manager creates a PERT chart in order to analyze all of a project task while estimating the amount of time required to complete each one. Using this information, the project manager can estimate the minimum amount of time required to complete the entire project. This information also helps the manager develop a project budget and determine the resources necessary to uh, needed to accomplish the project. A PER chart uses circles or rectangles called nodes to represent project events or milestones. The nodes are linked by vectors or lines that represent various tasks. Dependent tasks are items that must be performed in a specific manner. For example, if an arrow is drawn from task number 1 to task number 2, on a PERT chart, task number 1 must be completed before work on task number 2 begins. Items at the same stage of production but on different task lines within a project are referred to as parallel tasks. They are independent of each other and occur at the same time. A PERT chart is a visual representation of a series of events that must occur within the scope of a project's lifetime. The direction of arrows indicates the flow and sequence of events required. Dotted activity lines represent dummy activities items that are located on another part path. Numbers and time allotments are assigned and shown inside each vector. These charts have their distinct definitions and terms, the most important of which anticipate how long it will take to finalize a project. Optimistic time refers to the shortest duration. Pessimistic time is the longest it might take. The most likely time indicates a reasonable estimate of the best case scenario whereas expected time accounts for problems and obstacles. Now uh, we shall talk about the advantages and disadvantages. Friend, uh, a PERT chart is similar to a critical path analysis, another method that project managers use to chart tasks in a project. The main difference between the two is that a PERT chart uses various time frames and probability terms where estimating each project stage. So uh, first we talk about uh, the basically uh, the advantages. A PERT chart allows a manager to evaluate the time and resources necessary to complete a project. It also allows the manager to track required assets during any stage of production in the course of the project. PERT analysis incorporates data and information supplied by a number of departments. This combining of information encourages department responsibility and identifies all responsible parties across the organization. It also improves communication during the project and it allows an organization to commit to projects that are relevant to its strategic positioning. Finally. PERT charts are useful input for what-if analysis, understanding the possibilities, connecting the flow of project resources and milestones allows management to achieve the most efficient and useful project path. Disadvantages The information that goes into a PERT chart can be highly subjective. They may include unreliable data or unreasonable estimates for the cost of time. PERT charts are deadline focused and might not fully communicate the financial positioning of a project. Creating a PERT chart is labor intensive and maintaining and updating the information requires additional time and resources, continual review of the information provided as well as the prospective positioning of the project is required for a PERT chart to be of value. So friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video.